So over the past few years, microRNAs have, have emerged as key players in, in tumor genesis, and the vast majority of human cancers have the regulation of microRNA expression, one or more microRNAs. In many cases, many microRNAs are downregulated or overexpressed in human tumors. And uh, as, uh, as the studies progress, um, it's becoming more evident that individual microRNAs can behave as bona fide oncogenes, like protein coding genes, or as tumor suppressor genes. And there's been a lot of work and a lot of recent discoveries that suggest the microRNAs are key players in cancers, but also they could be uh, excellent targets for novel anti-cancer uh, strategies. So microRNAs have this, this peculiar way of, of acting. They don't make proteins. They're not like conventional protein coding genes. They just make these small non-coding RNAs. And these small non-coding RNAs can modulate the expression of hundreds of different genes, uh, protein coding genes. So let's imagine one microRNA that uh, down-regulate the tumor suppressor gene. So if you have too much of this microRNA, this microRNA can behave as an oncogene because now it brings down a tumor suppressor gene. And vice versa, a microRNA that down-regulates an oncogene. If you have too little of this microRNA, the oncogene goes up, and, and then that leads to tumor genesis. So, and because one microRNA can control hundreds of different genes, you can imagine how pervasive this way of regulation is. And now his is that if you regulate one microRNA, it really wreak havoc in, in, a, in a normal cell. And, facilitate tumor progression. My lab has been focusing on one particular microRNA family. Uh, these are oncogenic microRNAs. It's called Oncomir-1. It was perhaps the first uh, clearly linked to the pathogenesis of human cancer. And this is a very interesting um, uh, gene. It's actually a single locus that encodes for six distinct uh, microRNAs. And this is clearly an oncogene. So if you overexpress these microRNAs, you promote tumor genesis in various models. And uh, we have found evidence recently that actually one of them, one of the six microRNAs, uh, is, uh, is the key oncogenic determinant. And then if you can somehow downregulate the expression of this microRNA, you can induce uh, tumor cells to die. So this is a very good candidate for novel uh, therapeutic approaches. If we can design molecules that uh, uh, inactivate these microRNAs, we could have very good uh, potential for therapies. So the, the problem with this is uh, it's relatively easy in cells to knock down a microRNA. You just design small oligonucleotides that are complementary to the microRNA, and this works work very well. The problem, as always, is when you go into animals uh, or humans uh, to deliver these small compounds to the tumor cells. And there, there's still uh, significant uh, problems there. Uh, that are, I think they're being solved, and they will be solved in the next uh, couple of years, and there are different strategies that different groups are following so I'm very optimist, optimistic about it, but still at this time, uh, it's not a ready technology, ready to go. 